everyone, how's it going? Thank you so much for being here. Um, it's kind of nice to be out now on the other side of the Emily Awards. I love doing them, but there's just, there's just a lot of thought, a lot of thinking, a lot of figuring and planning and all that. I feel a bit more free right now, so thank you for being here. I thought I would do a video just sort of getting you up to speed on some of the different things I've been trying. There are just a few new items in the mix, some really random things, some recommendations I've taken from you guys on some certain things. I just thought, let's chat about it in this video. Just a casual talking it out kind of video. By the way, my lip color today is another one of these nude shades of the Superstay Vinyl Ink. And I believe this one is gonna be right up there for me with Extra and Charmed, this nude one. And it's this color today and it's called Punchy. Mm, isn't that nice? I've got this sort of plummy eye look going on and we'll get to more on that, but I really like the way that lip looks. So the story begins. I was doing some Christmas shopping on Sephora and ended up getting a few things for myself, including this, finally, this ambient soft glow foundation from Hourglass. I've heard so many raves on this. I thought, let's go ahead and try it out. I have it in the shade five, which I believe is called like light neutral. And um, I'm kind of surprised at how like yellowy this looks when I I pump some out on my skin. I'll give you like a little little swatch type thing here. Like it's a very yellowy light look and I kind of find myself wondering before I blend it in, like how is this gonna work? And I blend it out and it's it's pretty enough. But I'm not exactly blown away by this foundation. Okay, I've got it on today. Um, does it do a little bit of a blurring thing? It's kind of like a blurring medium coverage. Let's just put it this way. I feel more of a reaction uh, when I put on Neutrogena Healthy Skin than I do when I do this. Like at first I'm skeptical because I'm thinking it's so light, it's so yellowy, it does end up blending in and working out like this. My face looks somewhat normal, right? It works out and the skin looks good, but I'm just not thinking it's so like unique and awesome. And maybe that's because I've just got so many drugstore foundations that are about this like medium coverage place that I love so much. So we're talking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Gosh, one of the most common comparable things to this is probably the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Um, you know, actually in the finish on the skin, the coverage level, I feel a little more satisfied after I apply that than this. Maybe all the hype surrounding this just gave me a sky high expectation, but I'm, I'm not in love and I don't feel like it's head and shoulders above any of like my Emily Award winners for foundation. Sorry. Just my take. That's coming in at a time where there are a ton of great drugstore foundations. Another thing I got was this Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. It's in the shade dark and um, I remember somebody talking about this as being a really good reddish tone bronzer and it is. Can you tell like the reddish tone here? This can easily double as blush. That's how reddish it is. And the first day I used it, I used this and this alone like as a, my bronzer and contour and I thought, you know, it, it doesn't look amazing. And then I started using it more to top off like a cream contour. So today I used, for example, my Sahara multi-bronze stick from Persona. I used this as my cream contour, whatever, and then I just dusted this on top to give like a little added color, and I think it's really pretty. I like it in that way. I'm not yet obsessed with this product, but I just, you know, it's something new and different. Um, by the way, on my cheeks today, this is not new, but I'm wearing my one size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in very that, and I've got all parts of that on my cheeks today. So that's like a cream, and then a powder blush, and then a little bit of a like glowy blush topper. The other makeup thing that I got in that Sephora order is the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. I know very random because this has been out for a while, but I think it might have been discounted and that's why I really took notice. But Melt palettes are so pretty and rich. Like that's what I think of when somebody brings up Melt Cosmetics. I think of how rich their eyeshadow palettes get. And I really did like that one. Uh, the Gemini 2 had a lot of like deep burgundy richness, a little bit of olive also and this one has so much like true purpley plum going on like when you start setting up your look with these shades it becomes this really like true cool purple look see the tone here it's really pretty and it shows up much more 
purpley on the eyes than I would have even expected given the depth. Um, those swatches don't really even do it justice. Like on the eyes, I've done some looks that are very, very deep purple and it shows, okay? So not like brownish plum. Now there is one shade in here, the shade called Cheese and Parties. I played with that one today because I kind of wanted to see where that would go. It has a little more red in it. And I've got a lot of that like on the outer lid. I've got that up into the crease as well. And then this lightest shade right here on the inner lid. So that's about as non purpley as it gets is that sort of color selection and everything else just has a lot of fun purple in it. So I've been enjoying that just in the mood for some plums, I guess. I call this early Christmas or birthday for myself. This um, original makeup eraser set. Lately, I've been using the most gentle methods possible for removing my makeup because I had like a really pesky dry patch right in here. I talked about it in the video where I did like a gentle minimal face routine. But it got very, very dry and eventually flaky like right in here. And one thing I kind of wanted to change was using um, gentler makeup removal methods. I've been doing some cleansing balms and I thought let's go back to a makeup eraser for a little while and try that. So this is like a seven day set which I think is amazing. Oh you get a bonus hair clip in here but I thought the smiley faces were really cute. And basically with a makeup eraser you just wet it with water and then it's supposed to take everything off. So I thought let's have that on hand. And I have found myself in a situation where my girls have to get makeup off. They don't wear like makeup every day to school or anything like that, but they've had um, a couple of dance recitals. They've had dance pictures. They've had some occasions to have like some makeup on. And at the end of the day, when it's time to take that off, I feel like it's just kind of a tedious process. You know, I don't want anything that's going to remotely sting their eyes or they're going to complain and blah, blah. I need it to be gentle and I need it to be quick. And I don't typically have pre-moistened makeup wipes on hand, but I thought I would try these from Clinique. I kind of trust did these for some reason, the take off the day, or take the day off, my cellar cleansing towelettes for face and eyes. And I gotta say, these were packaged so nice. Like they were somehow wrapped around on the outside. There was a really good seal right in here and the wipes are so wet. And one wipe easily removed like everything they had on. I was going right over their eyes. There was no complaining about anything stinging or burning, just super gentle. And I just feel like I'm gonna probably reserve these for any times where uh, they had to have a makeup look for something. Or maybe just any day when I'm feeling particularly lazy because I did try these one day last week too on myself and I was like, wow, it even takes off my like full face of makeup while being very gentle. But generally speaking, I'm trying to move toward either a cleansing balm type of thing like the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. I know Clinique's actual take the day off cleansing balm. I've used that in the past and that's really good. Or I think those makeup erasers will be fun to experiment with. I've never had like a bunch of those. I know I've used a makeup eraser once or twice, but haven't gotten heavily into that. So this will be fun. After I started talking about my dry patch that kind of resembled like eczema right in here in this inner corner and it would just be dry and kind of got flaky. I wasn't really sure what to put on it. Ended up using a lot of Vaseline. I do think the Vaseline helped, but so many people came out saying get the Vanny cream, even if you like the CeraVe cream. Some people said this is even more gentle. Um, it's moisturizing cream for sensitive skin, free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers. It's gluten-free and it's accepted by the National Eczema Foundation and it is really moisturizing. Um, Belle has super dry hands. I think they get really dried out by like the soap that she uses washing her hands at school. She always comes home and they're so dry. And so I've been using this on her and it's helped a ton and it doesn't like sting. Sometimes other lotions I've tried on her that are really heavy duty, she'll be like, ooh, that's burning a little bit. This does not do that. But I also have used this um, at nighttime, what I've done is put on some of the Vanny cream and then I layer up just a little Vaseline on top of that to keep it like really rich and hydrated all night. And then when I go to do my makeup, everything is so soft and smooth again. Like this under eyes even better than this one that never had the problem. Like I love this stuff. This is a great call. So I've got this tub, you know, and I thought, well, I want to have some upstairs as well. So I found this container for the Bobbi Brown eye cream that I had used up and I just pumped a bunch of that in to here so I have it upstairs as well to use it like an eye cream before makeup. It's such a luxurious feeling cream honestly you guys. It looks like the kind of thing that's just like boom built for service not too glamorous but it feels incredible if you have some very dry places and you're really wanting to guard against irritating them like it is even a step up from the CeraVe moisturizing cream I gotta say. Great recommendation thank you so much and I even got I noticed they had this available when I did 
my Walmart order for that. I noticed they had this gentle facial cleanser and I thought I would have that on hand as well. Like if I use the e.l.f. holy hydration makeup melt stuff and you know I get everything off and I start rinsing it off and that's great for not drying you out. Like still definitely leave some moisture on your skin but if you want to feel extra extra clean I'll do like a pump of this and just rinse everything away. But again same claims as this and it's dermatologist tested for sensitive skin so enjoying that stuff. Thank you so much guys. Oh, another thing I wanted to try, um, I love e.l.f.'s Holy Hydration line. You know, I use that night cream every night. It's not technically a night cream. They just call it Holy Hydration Face Cream. But I didn't realize that they have a toner, a Holy Hydration toner. And I've been using this for a few days as well. Keep Your Balance Toner with Hyaluronic Acid, Witch Hazel, and Aloe. And it is for all skin types. It says dry, oily, or combination. But I've been using that for a few nights before putting my serums and moisturizers on and all that jazz. But has anyone used this? I have haven't even heard a thing about it and then I'm in Walmart and I'm like oh there's a toner I must try. I was in the mood for some lashes that would be really pretty and give some drama but maybe not be as dramatic as these from Kiss My My Lash But Better and So Real which is the favorite style the ultimate style. Yes I broke one taking one off of there as I was trying to get ready on Friday for Bub's office Christmas party. Anyway love those for special occasion but I was kind of scrounging around for something a little more everyday. By the way there's something called the Kiss So Wispy curated collection which is um, multiple styles in one little pack like this and that's really fun to experiment with but I just got this style called Pompadour and they are basically like a little thicker, longer take on like a Demi Wispy false lash from Ardell. They're really pretty. I love these. I do give these a slight trim because they're still a little bit longer than I need left to right, but I love those. And again, I think if you get the So Wispy Curated Collection, which is that multi-pack, I believe there's a pompadour set in there. Finally, my friends, Ulta was having a sale, gosh, how many weeks ago was it? Several weeks ago, I think. And a lot of the Le Mini Macaroon stuff was marked down, and so that is my chosen gel nail system. I have been really keeping my nails looking nice and I'm so happy with them. I can link below to the set that actually starts you out. It has the little thing that you cure your nails in, the little light, and it comes with several colors including this beautiful Christmas red. That's one of the many shades that you just get with that set, but I got a few new colors. I got kind of a dusty rose shade, a darker red, and a really 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 light pink. Those were all discounted at the time I got them. I also got the this nail brightener that you're supposed to use on bare nails. It says brighten and whiten natural and acrylic nails with this gorgeous nail glow contains citric acid to help neutralize yellow, discolored, and stained nails for a healthy and whitening effect. I feel like I'd used something like this years ago on my nails and really liked it. So I, I've been enjoying this brand so much. I got that and I also got the gel French manicure kit. So when I'm really feeling adventurous or confident, I will uh, try to do this. And they just give you the two mini shades here. It looks like a really, really soft pink and then the white. So I thought, why not? Seriously though, gel nails and that particular system, I used to love the Mali gel nails. I know that system isn't made anymore, but that was what first had got me going on gel nails. I remember being back in the other house using that and feeling so like amazed that my nails could be totally done when I got up and just completely hard and I didn't have to to wait for things to dry. I love that. But this uh, particular system I feel is even more like fast and streamlined. So you end up doing like one coat curing the nails, then doing one more coat, curing them, and you can be done at that point, but I do love their um, clear super shiny top coat. It just makes the nails feel extra like hard and durable. So I end up doing that as well. I'm trying to think how long this actually takes me, maybe 15 minutes. I can do it pretty fast. And when you're done, like you are done. I can be opening a box. I can be changing a diaper. Like that is the biggest thing for me. That has been the biggest deterrent from doing my nails is that I just don't have time to sit around and not do anything or not be helping with a kid or whatever. So this has definitely been my favorite system. They have a really wide range of shades. I wish they'd put out just some little sampler sets, you know? Just, you know, some interesting shades boxed together would have been fun. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope things are going well for you. I love this week leading up to Christmas. Like, I know it, it is kind of like sometimes an emotional roller coaster because you're trying to get things done and you do get a little stressed at times, inevitably. 
but I love the anticipation leading up to Christmas. I always have. Christmas Day is great and all, but those days spent really looking forward to it and getting excited about it. I love that. Kids are out of school. It's going to be fun. So thank you for your time, friends. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.